health bars are super important uh, in games. And I want to show you guys how you can take your designs from Figma and, and Photoshop and bring them into Unity and how, how they're actually built using Unity components. So what we have here is a, a rough UI I've designed uh, with a um, health bar over here. So this is the health bar component as itself. They're just a bunch of shapes. Uh, this is a two shapes uh, merged together in a pathfinder with um, a stroke outline tool. Looks pretty stylized, looks pretty cool. And then this is just text inside here. So how would we go and rebuild something like this uh, and bring it into Unity and bring it to life? So uh, firstly, if we, we need to bring it in, in three separate components here. There's a background, which is going to um, hold the health. There is this uh, container here, which is is the actual health, and that's going to slide down and slide up based on what the health is left, and then the text component as well. So we can't bring in the text component. That needs to be built in Unity. But we'll start by bringing in the background. Uh, so if I'm just going to export that background, uh, bring it into our game here. So drag and drop the file into Unity. We're going to change these uh, settings of the image to Sprite uh, 2D. And uh, I think we just uh, yeah, set apply here. And then inside the canvas itself, which we've set up in previous uh, videos, we're just going to go right click UI image. Background health and then drag and drop. Uh, Oh, sorry, I didn't press apply on this one. Uh, sorry, sprite mode needs to be set to single. I, I stuffed that up. Press apply uh, and then drag drag that into the image here. Set as native size and that's now the same size as how we built it. We can go and position it uh, down the corner here and I'm going to right click and create an empty parent. Um, just because that's the background, I wanna have all my health components inside uh, one big group. So this is just, we're just going to call this health and have that as background health. Now, uh, we'll talk about how we get this gradient in there in a little bit. But firstly, let's get a functional uh, health bar here. And then we will figure out how we can stylize it, how we can make it better uh, from there onwards. So firstly, Unity has a component called a health slider. And uh, so if we type in add component, we type in slider, we can, sorry, so sorry, sorry, sorry. if we right click health and then go UI and then press slider, we can get given a slider. We'll call this um, the health slider. And how that works is uh, based on this value, you slide it up and you slide it down uh, and then that value changes how much health is inside there. We're going to repurpose that. Firstly, we know that it's going to be 15 is the max number. The minimum is zero. Can't go negative. Uh, we want whole numbers. We don't want, you know, 6.2 health. Uh, and then you can see the value here now has 15 individual steps uh, from all the way from left to right. So this direction here from left to right isn't going to work for us. We want from uh, top to bottom, uh, from bottom to top, actually. And so when the, they have 15 health, it's right at the top. And then when they have zero health, it's going to go all the way down to the bottom. Let's have a look inside all the default stuff that a slider gives you. Uh, so the slider has a background and uh, it has, so the background itself, you can see, um, I uh, turn this component on and off. Ah, uh, you can't see it because it's at, it's at full health. Uh, if I go halfway and I turn the background off, you can see that's what you see when there's no health in there. It's quite useful. I'll show you why. Then you have the fill area, and so this fill here uh, is the color of the health. So if I go and change it to red. You can see when I slide it up and down, what's filled is going to be red. What isn't filled is going to be the background color. 
Uh, then there's a handle slide area, and this is if you've got a like a setting slider that you want to be moving back and forth. You can have that there. We're going to get rid of it. We don't want it. It's out. We can actually uh, change. Oh no, no, we'll leave the background as is. Uh, we'll change the health slider so it's in the rough shape that we need it. So let's drag it uh, around here, down here. And the the background in here is set to an image, and this image is this uh, Im default image that's in there. We don't want that, so we can select that and press delete. And that's now just got a, given us a, a fill across the whole color. And then the fill itself has done the same thing as given us this little default image down here. We can delete that too. And then what that has gone and given us is a full slider goes all the way up, all to the bottom. So you can see even if that uh, health slider was by itself, that would work as a, as a functional health slider. Uh, but we want it to work inside here. Uh, so we want the uh, background to, um, we'll leave it there for debugging purposes for now. Um, we want the color of the fill to be green. We can match that to our uh, color that we have here. We won't actually be able to um, to get to the health sitting perfectly inside there as it stands right now. What we'll need is a way to mask out this image here. So what we'll do is we'll duplicate this and then we will uh, remove everything that's on it, turn it completely white and we'll export that and we'll call that the health mask. We'll bring the health mask in. Set all the settings we need to. So sprite, single, uh, alpha is transparency, press apply, we have it here. And then in the fill area, we will add a component of mask and we'll add a component of image. So the image will have our health mask. And then uh, I'm going to add that. That's not where you want it. I just realized that I'm going to control Z a couple of that. Okay. We are going to, in the fill area, um, we're going to create an empty parent and that empty parent is going to be the health mask. That health mask is going to contain the image and the mask. Add component, type in mask and click in. The health mask now sits inside there. Uh, we'll set it to a native size uh, so you can actually see uh, the size here. Um, and then we can uh, we can mask what's sitting underneath it, right? So right now you can see the, we just move this, we slide this up and down. You can see that it goes all the way to the top and all the way to the bottom. There's just a few things that it's still showing that it uh, that shouldn't be showing. So uh, that isn't, no, that needs to stay there. The, the, the health mask is all good. I want to turn off uh, show mask graphics so I can't actually see this uh, big line here. I want to change uh, the background. Let's remove the background so we can't see that at all. And then now if we slide it down, aha, we can see that that perfectly masks uh, inside there. So we just got to reposition the health mask to sit in the right spot. The native size thing, roughly down there and up to there. Uh, so now if we um, press play and we have a larger view of this, Hmm. 
Not sure why that's taking so long. There we go. And then select our health every time the character gets hurt, it drops down. All right, that's the majority of it done. All we need to do now is uh, inside health, right click, UI, text. I haven't imported uh, some of the basic text for Unity 6. Uh, I'll add that here and then we'll set that text to 15. Set it to middle. Drag it up here. Reduce the size so that it's the, the size that it needs to be. Make sure that if we put in, you know, 100, for example, it's going to truncate. So let's uh, make it a little bit bigger. We'll go 75. And we'll set that in there. So I don't think we've got any uh, other fonts installed right now. Uh, so we can't make it look identical uh, unless we go install that from Google Fonts. Uh, then we can definitely do that. But there we go. We have a working health bar. Uh, there is the next stage that we can we can take on to that. So you can see with the health slider as it goes uh, up and down. Um, maybe there's a uh, every time. Every time you get hit, you might want this white border to change. And that will be as simple as uh, grabbing your uh, initial background, removing the fill and the drop shadow. So we're just trying to get this stroke and export that as the health stroke. <laughs> Don't want your, your player getting a health stroke. That would be unfortunate. Uh, sprite, single, uh, set, it, set all the same way that we do. So we get our, our default that uh, our default um, default settings to make the image work properly. And then we will need to around background health. Uh, we can duplicate that and call that stroke health. Drag the health stroke on there. And then background itself will need to will be exported without the stroke, um, without the drop shadow. Oh no, with the drop shadow, just no stroke. And this will become the new uh, background health. And so background health now replaces the image uh, that was inside background. So that was, uh, you know, we called it union before. Um, we'll replace that with background health. And you can see that it's there. And then this stroke is its own color sitting in front. And the reason we bring in assets uh, as white uh, is so we can use unity itself to color it. So every time it got hit, we could tell via code to change to this color and then change back to white. So uh, that way we can, and the same thing we've done with the, the health as well. We brought the health in as white so that we can use Unity to color it. And if we can animate the color, we can uh, make it react to on hover all the other interactive states. So it's really important to bring in all your assets uh, as white and then color them inside Unity as best as you can, unless it's a completely static uh, piece of UI, and then you can kind of get away with it. Uh, but good practice is to bring it in with white. So uh, I hope you can uh, learn a bit more, or if there's any other uh, kind of health bars that you want to uh, look at and how to build and how to, how to use, um, leave it in the comments. Thanks.